What does it mean to love in freedom? There's a certain fluidity in oh. your interactions, right? It's, it's friendship versus marital prison. Ooh. We agreed that she had to make herself happy and I had to make herself happy. And then we were gonna present ourselves back to the relationship already happy, Ooh. you know, and that should be the prerequisite for anybody actually yeah. getting married. Absolutely. It's it's like the I was pregnant. pregnant. I just I was just like I didn't know what to do, but I just knew I was like I never wanted to be married. There wasn't a day in my life that I wanted anything other than being married and having a family. Wow. The way my mind works, I can only Excel. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the court. I got a couple of topics for you today. From the bizarre to the predictable, uh, it's always interesting to watch and see how the world reacts to certain things. And uh, in the case of um, William Smith and his bald headed wife, Jada Pinkett Bald Smith, um, I didn't see this coming. So. Will Smith gets banned from the Academy for 10 years after he had already quit. So he can't attend events, events that he wasn't going to attend anyway. Universally seen as a weak sauce penalty. Um, it's, it's like pathetic, weak, proves that Hollywood isn't really uh, interested in following through on the things that they say that they expect us to believe are important but then then something hilarious happened something even i couldn't predict and it's actually amazing and we'll get into that after a quick word from this video sponsor meta pcs huge shout out to this video sponsor meta pcs look you've been around you know that i've been talking about meta pcs for a very long time in fact it's the primary computer i use but it's not just because they're a sponsor it's for so many more reasons they have fully customizable configurable pcs and all the hardest to find parts in stock and ready to go they also have ready to ship pcs ready for you today Here's a couple of reasons why I like Meta PCs. First and foremost, it's veteran ownership. Meta PCs is a veteran owned business. One of Meta's owners has served both in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a Purple Heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in Meta's operations center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. They offer financing. It has 100% US based sales and support. And when you receive your PC, it's ready to go right out of the box. You don't have to get complicated and set things up. You just plug it all in and you're ready to rock. And on top of that, Meta PCs is offering you, my viewer, a huge discount when you use the link in the description or you use promo code THEQUARTERING. If you use my code at checkout, not only do you save money, but you support my content and a company that will not bow to cancel culture. So maybe you're not ready to pick up a new computer today, but when you are, remember to go to metapcs.com and use promo code THEQUARTERING to support me and to save money. So after the punishment rolled out, most normal people, hey, by the way, you know, MetaPC isn't just for gaming. Uh, it's a computer I use, but it's also the same one I recommend to friends and family. Uh, you can build whatever you want, and then they have pre-builds that are ready to go too, and they're an awesome company that is stuck by this channel in the face of uh, insane weirdos on Twitter demanding they drop me um, and even other partners having problems with me. So, um, yeah, so they have a kind of a special spot in my heart. Um, Oscars punishment for Will Smith slap is pathetic and weak. The morons who run the Oscars gave Will Smith an amazing gift on Friday for uh, going after and uh, battering Chris Rock on stage in front of millions of viewers after Rock made a joke about Will Smith's bald-headed wife, the 53-year-old actor was banned from the next 10 years of Academy Awards. We should all be so lucky. Smith, who treated a glamorous primetime telecast like a 2 a.m. roadside bar in Wichita, egregiously gets to keep his shiny best actor statuette he won for King Richard, now surely nestled on a shelf next to his 10 hard-won kids' choice awards. 
No charges have been filed against the actor for storming up to another man and um, raising his hands to him. And it's current inaction of any indication the FCC will let him be. Imagine how difficult the situation must be for a poor man, this, uh, for this poor A-lister. Smith, Smith's net worth is $350 million. He's been nursing his emotional wounds in a $42 million mansion in Calabasas, Calabasas California. The 1,500 Thread County Egyptian cotton bed sheets are surely stained with tears, and he must be running out of Krug. I don't even know what that is. Uh, to Drain asks his personal assistant to go buy more. These are the hardships you and I could scarcely fathom. And now Smith's only consequence from the Academy for an offense that would get just about anyone else in this world a visit from the police uh, and an ax from their employer is that he cannot attend the Oscars for a decade. Smith himself chose to resign from the Academy. This is a punishment? Bear in mind that, this is by the New York Post, by the way, bear in mind that Smith isn't exactly Meryl Streep with a reserved seat at the Oscar like it's a standing table at Rouse. King Richard was his first Academy Award nomination of any kind since 2007's The Pursuit of Happiness 15 years ago. The only photogenic photographic evidence of Smith attending the Academy Awards for any reason since 2010 when, was when he was a presenter in 2014. You see, banning Will Smith from the Oscars is like banning me from the gym. I wasn't planning on going anyway. The gym is boring and pushes me to my limit. So do the Oscars. Smith makes his prestige... Uh, makes prestige movies as often as I do push-ups and he likely wouldn't have been nominated again. The ban is totally, totally meaningless. But what do we expect from the hypocritical Hollywood overlords? Isn't it typical how when not assaulting comedians or committing heinous hashtag me too crimes, filmmakers lecture us ad nauseum about our behavior and our beliefs and our accountability in normal world and what they show which they show such disdain for when they treat their own enormously unstable community like a kindergarten full of toddlers who still can't tie their shoes. They sent teary little Willie to cut to timeout corner. That's it. If you need a more proof that celebrities do not believe that they are beholden to the same basic rules as you and I are here it is folks. And that's exactly what my position was. The only real punishment uh, that would make any sense whatsoever would have been to completely uh, remove his Oscar. Like, I mean, I don't really know any other way to to uh, to to talk about it. You know, that's the only uh, penalty that would have mattered. But according to Twitter, a a black man battering another black man live on television in front of twenty million people is ra ra racisms uh, what let's ban the oscars via los angeles times academy's will smith ban met with disbelief and accusations accusations of racism <laughs> will smith is facing a 10-year ban from events held by the academy of the motion picture arts and sciences for acting like an idiot but the reaction to the film academy's decision friday was met with mixed results ranging from disbelief to accusations of racism. While the King Richard stars repeatedly apologized and accepted the Academy's decision, the organization contended that its ban was a step toward a larger goal of protecting the safety of our performers and guests and restoring trust in the Academy. No, the only thing that you could have done that would have showed any spine whatsoever is taking his Oscar away because that would have crushed him. That would have made uh, other people in Hollywood stand up and take notice because they care about these shiny things you know like i don't know where my million subscriber plaque is i don't even know if i still have it anymore but these lunatics would like worship at their altar of their awards and it would have been the only fitting punishment but many people on social media didn't see it that way and celebrities were mostly silent some critics characterize the academy's ruling against a fresh prince veteran as racially motivated while others saw it as a as the group making up for lax repercussions for past transgressors. Again, we're talking about an invitation to a party for the next 10 years that Will Smith has a history of never attending in the first place. And we know based on his acting, he's unlikely to be nominated for anything anyway. They said it inappropriate behavior at the Oscars like Adrian Brody, 
who uh, planted a kiss on Halle Berry, or that of comedian Jim Carrey, a critic of Smith who made a live show advances at Alicia Silverstone. The 10-year ban they gave Will Smith feels very make a lesson of this black person, tweeted Frederick, author Frederick Joseph. Okay. Another person writes, this is 100% racially motivated. Twitter user Samari replying to a news story about Smith's punishment. Jim Carrey did, and by the way, ban them all. Like, I, 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 I mean, yeah. And, and the, the same people that are like, yeah, but they let Roman keep his and they let, and they let, um, uh, that other loser Harvey keep his take theirs too. Like, why is this so easy for any normal person to see? Others contrasted the Academy's swift action with the Ali and concussion actor with delayed punishments involving disgraced Hollywood players such as Roman or Harvey. Amid, oh yeah, okay, Will Smith is becoming the face of the they don't love us, just what we create, was not on my bingo card. Did that slap translate to this? Wait, I'm sorry. How did the slap translate to this when they have to ban actual, yet to actually ban predators? I agree. But also... I think you're talking about black folks, which I disagree with. I would think that Hollywood basically fetishizes you and worships uh, the POC. They worship at that altar. But the if you're talking about viewers, yeah, we don't like you. We may like your movies, but we don't like you. I, I guarantee there is very few people in Hollywood that I could share a beer with. Maybe Chris Pratt. I, I don't know. Um, let's ban the Oscars for 10 years, too. So many predators still not banned. Okay. Crazy how the Oscars have allowed racism to happen with no consequences, but they chose to ban Will for 10 years all over a slap? You mean a crime? A literal crime committed on TV? Bette Midler, a harsher punishment would have been a mandatory attendance for 10 years, quipped scandal alum Joshua Molina. Yeah, I would, I would say... Probably. If you look, this was Oscars So White started trending again with hot takes like, this is just supremacy in action. This tweet got 38 likes. Will Smith is rich and he'll be fine. He's set for life. He's the elite. However, all the poor black men who aren't the elite, who are disproportionately retaliated against for showing the slightest human emotion, will not be. I'm sorry. The slightest human emotion is storming up on stage in front of 3,500 people and hitting them. That's not, that's not a normal, slight human em emotion. That's assault, my friend. Oh, well, battery, technically, right? I mean, all of these people tweeting like, yeah, just like the justice system makes the black man an example. 10 years, get out of here. Like, Look, first of all, what Roman and Harvey did were not at the Oscars, as far as I know. By the way, both of them, one of them is, and I think the other one is not yet, but both of them should be in jail, okay? They're both heinous creeps, all right? Let's get that out of the way. But what Will Smith did is a crime, and he did it on live TV. Why are these people acting like, oh, he just got in a shouting match or whatever? No, 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 no. He raised his hand, and like, this is the thing, dude. Like, running defense and trying to excuse this is exactly why uh, this behavior continues. It's when we're giving everyone an excuse for acting like a moron. I mean, this dude is worth $350 million. He has everything on the planet. He has access to every things that all of us could only ever dream of. He had no excuse for doing what he did. And he did it anyway, and he got no punishment for it. And Twitter's right there to say it was unfair. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.